friends, I'm Stephanie Hansen. Let's go! I've been cooking, eating, and talking about it for years. This is amazingly good. Now I'm inviting you along for the ride. You seem like you're pretty adventurous about food. Meet the chefs, home cooks, restaurateurs, and bakers honing their crafts. Oh, look at that technique. And try new recipes with me in my kitchen. It's simple, it's easy, that looks amazing. There's always something delicious to share. This is Taste Buds. Hi, Taste Buds. Hello. I am here with my friend Jack Leas today. Jack and I have known each other for, we were trying to figure out how long. I think 11 years, yeah. We work on the Stone Arch Bridge Festival together and we have a funny story for you. So you know how you're like scrolling on Instagram? My daughter calls me and she's like, mom, mom, did you see that Jack has a new girlfriend? I was like, oh, Jack has a girlfriend, okay. Ellie says, well, look, go look on his Instagram. So I look and there's this pretty young lady and I was like, oh, this is great. And then I looked and I'm like, there's a lot of likes on this photo. How do all these people know our Jack? And who is this lady? And Ellie goes, mom, it's the Minnesota Bachelorette. <laughs> Apparently, everybody else in the world knows about Michelle Young. Yeah. I will meet her today for the very first time. Sit. Good oh boy. <laughs> that is his quirk. I'm Michelle, and this is my dog, Chief. I've been in a decent amount of like serious relationships. Went on a TV show, that clearly didn't work. But with Jack, he calms my nervous system. I feel like he truly understands how I operate. He pays attention to the little things. My mom and my sister-in-law were always saying, we want you to be with somebody who's like your dad. And he is to a T exactly like that. We'll go grab the car, pull it up when it's raining so that you don't have to get wet. We'll take the dog outside at night so that you're not going outside. He just, you know, takes care of those things. Every man needs to know how to cook like a signature meal for their lady friend. Absolutely. I'm just here to make sure that we get you romantically off on a good foot. Have you ever heard of something called marry me chicken? No, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to put you on the spot. No, no, I, I've never heard of that, my bad. Okay, you know, we're kind of doing a little romance thing. Yeah, absolutely. How about we make marry me one pot shrimp? <laughs> oh, <that's>, I'm, I... <laughs> no pressure, I know, I'm just dying. No, I gotta okay. make fun of you a little it. bit. No, no, good. no, you do, you do, you do. And then we're gonna make a strawberry salad that will have a little bit of brie. And you know a little bit about wine because you brought some wine today. Absolutely, we have a great wine. Magna Carta Napa Valley. I love red wine and red wine really, everybody says like, oh, neat. I think red wine goes with anything. I think so too. And then we've got a delicious strawberry signature cocktail because it's kind of springy. Love that. We're gonna go to the grocery store together. Yeah, let's do it. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay, rolling. hi, Sean. Hi. I love that you're driving in your apron, too. But... I know, it's amazing. <laughs> Let us just talk. How did you meet Michelle? We have a mutual friend. And I happened to bring up, do you have any friends? Like, do you have any single friends? And he said, well, have I ever mentioned Jack? Little did I know that Jack had asked Garrett, was his name, to introduce him to me, like, several times. I just had the urge to slide up, and I asked him to introduce me, and then we got to text in a little bit. I think that takes a lot of like guts to just reach out. Like, how did you know she was gonna be the one? I kinda just you was just like, get let the me. Feeling? Yeah, I was like, let me shoot my shot real quick. And so we ended up meeting the same day. I was supposed to go out of town the next day for the whole weekend. I ended up canceling the trip. We hung out that night and hung out the whole entire weekend, and then by that Sunday, he was like, I be my girlfriend. And it was just weird how it just clicked and everything. It was kind of cool because we didn't figure out that he had asked about me and I had asked about him. So for the first like two months of dating, I thought that I had asked to be introduced to him and he asked to be introduced to me, but I didn't know that. So it was kind of funny how it worked out. I love like stories about how people met because yeah. I met my husband, Kurt. I was about to Kurt. ask you, how'd you meet yeah. Kurt? Yeah. Well, he was the manager of the nightclub I was working at. So okay, at work, it. which yeah. is never cool, but yeah. I was 19, he was 29. I can still remember, I saw him walking, Yeah. and he had these really cute khaki pants and a press white shirt yeah. and glasses and loafers. <laughs> and I just knew, and you I know? said to my friend, I'm gonna marry that guy. Really? Literally I did, yes. Did you approach him? Oh approach yeah, him? Okay. I had to ask him out six times before he said yes. <laughs> hey. All right, and with that, we are at the store. We're at Kowalski's. <laughs> <laughs>
I think we should start with some flowers because you always want to have flowers on your little romantic table. Absolutely. I feel like these are pretty and really kind of dramatic looking. We could totally do that. We could maybe mix them with this white, the a high and a low. Yeah, high and a low. I like that idea. We are going to make a delicious spinach salad. Oh, look at this cute dress. <laughs> this is what's happening. <laughs> Okay, yep, I'm gonna just throw this in the cart too. Strawberries, Strawberries, yes. Okay, these are looking scrumptious. Those look good. Yeah. We do need some brie, because you we told need, me yep, that brie. Michelle brie. likes brie. So Michelle let's, likes brie, let's do it. I would say Jack is a good cook. I will also say that he is up against like a really high standard because my dad is a phenomenal cook, is known for his cooking. I'll grab the fettuccine. Jack has made some pretty good meals. He's even cooked for my mom and my dad. They came over, he cooked some like lobster pasta. My dad went back for seconds, which, you know, they can they can say something nice about it. They can say that it was good. But when my dad goes back for seconds, that kind of says something too. Made in Italy. Come on. You can't go you can't go wrong. Made in Italy. Let's go. We're looking to travel. He's Italian. He's never been overseas. So we're looking to go to Italy. And I just launched my nonprofit, so the Michelle Young Foundation. It's exciting. It's something that I wrote a long time ago when I first started teaching. We're going to be launching a homework and hoops program. It's for underprivileged students, and it'll focus on the academic piece of math and literacy. And then it will also turn into a hoops organization where they get to play an organized sport. So they get to play basketball, they get to interact with different role models who come into the community. I'm excited. It's been a lot, but it's been very fulfilling and very rewarding. Jack, I'm over here panicking at the greens. My gut is telling me that for our salad, we're gonna do spinach and butter, because I like that red color. And for our dish, we're gonna do all spinach. Is this a rookie move, putting the limes with the lemons? No, it's good. Cool. Okay, I'm completely going the wrong way. Let's go this way. Do you think she would eat coffee ice cream? Yeah. Okay, because this is a local-owned company. Crank and Dasher. They are from Duluth. And okay. they are at Stone Arch Bridge Festival in the culinary market with me. No way. So this kind of brings it full circle. Okay, shrimp. And then we're done. We need about a pound. Yeah, yeah. we can do that. Fill them up. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate no, it. you're the best. Good What's going on? What's going on? We were grocery shopping, but you have so many good things. We decided to buy a dress. One stop shop. It really One is. We've shop. got flowers. Have a great day. Thanks, Kowalskis. You're always great. As All right, usual. Kowalskis, we out. Bye. Bye. Peace. Peace. All right, Jack, we're back from the store. Yep. And we've got these beautiful flower arrangements. I kind of like this because I feel like it's in Michelle's color palette. And this will be low so you guys can gaze longingly into each other's eyes without having to stare at the flowers. <laughs> so we're going to cut them like right about to there. So okay. pretty yep. short. Okay, I got you. Well, this is going to be so pretty. Oh, it's going to look like we're real professional flower people. Okay, good. We're good. Okay, that yeah, looks great. I think that looks good. And it's low, so we can still see each other, mm -hmm. have intimate conversation over our flowers. Right. How cute. So we are getting this started. We are oh. making honeyed almonds. Honeyed almonds, strawberry spinach salad. That's right. So all we're going to do is just brown these a little bit. And they might pop, so just keep moving them around until Got you it. smell Got the it. nuttiness. Got it. I, in the meantime, am observing our new induction burner that I've never worked with before, with my cookware, in a house that I've never cooked in, mm -hmm. in a suburb I don't spend a lot of time in. Mm -hmm. With somebody so, you never cooked with. With someone I've never cooked with. So really, this is it, Taste Buds. Anything can happen, right? Anything can happen. We're all human over here. I'm just gonna pour a little honey in. Okay, stir them all in. Dang, that smells better. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna take them off. Everything looks like it's pretty well coated. Yep. Spread them out a little bit so that they're like a thin layer. Got it. That'll help them set up a little okay, bit. Okay, cool. So Jack, your job yep. is gonna be to put the salad in the bowl. Could then, do that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's impressive. <laughs> then you're going to cut your strawberries. Okay. I'm just gonna make the vinaigrette. Basically, any vinaigrette is about a tablespoon of acid. In this case, we're using the strawberry vinegar, to three tablespoons of oil. I like to always use a little Dijon mustard. Ooh, smell that. Ooh. That makes me want to brat. I know. <laughs> and then I'm gonna also add about a teaspoon of honey. Oh, and you always wanna put salt and pepper in your dressing. People forget to salt it. 
shake it up and down. Yeah. Just to make it all. <laughs> make it nice hot too. You're gonna just taste it and see. That's actually really good. Are you gonna say that to everything? Cause you're such a polite kid. No, <laughs> I actually think it's really good. Okay. So this brie is super delightful. We're gonna cut it, but we're gonna do what's called composing the salad. So we're gonna dress the salad and we're gonna put the dressed salad on the plate. And then we're gonna lay the brie on top with the honeyed almonds. It'll just look a little prettier. So let's just cut it for now, but we won't toss it actually in the salad. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, you gotta teach me how to cut brie. I'd say probably half as thick. Let me fix that, that's a little, a little big. <laughs> Sorry about that. That'll be a big mouthful for yeah. Michelle. <laughs> but that'll be perfect. And okay. then we'll just lay those right on the top. Got it. Got I think out. we are ready to move on to the main course. Yep. We are making one pot marry me shrimp because we already had the whole we story the whole, about, yep, right? Marry me. Now, he's probably not really gonna ask Michelle to marry him today because that might be a lot. <laughs> Okay, so we're just taking the tails off of these shrimp. We already bought them at the grocery store deveined. So we don't have to do that. Kowalski's already did that step for us. So shout we're just going to pull the tails off. Shout out. So we're just heating up our oil. And then we are going to lay our shrimp down. And shrimp goes fast. So if you want to start microplaning, yep. I like microplaning over chopping garlic every day using a little salt here. We're also gonna put some butter. Go ahead, throw that in there. Slam dunk it? Yep, I'm gonna flip our shrimp. They smell delicious. The garlic in there smells awesome. This smells too good. It does. And then what we're gonna do is add, sorry, <laughs> I'm getting a little aggressive with the buttery shrimps. <laughs> okay, so let's just set that aside. We're gonna put a cup and a half of broth in with our cup and a half of milk. Jack picked out great pasta at the store. This is good stuff. And fettuccine is gonna take a little while longer. So I'm gonna add just about another quarter cup. Now we need about eight ounces. This you, is about 17. Have you ever seen somebody like, that's like a rule. <laughs> like Jack, I do it all the time. You do it? But I know I'm not supposed to. You're not supposed to do that. Okay, but then it's not like, well, I guess when you don't have that much water. Yeah. Dang, so you really like do that? Yes, I think so. Oh my God. Should we? Is no, it bad? No, I, I can't be in the video if you do it. That's okay. <laughs> People are gonna come find me. <laughs> it's gonna stick together. It's like, a, oh my gosh. <laughs> Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Because otherwise the pasta's gonna all stick together. Only because, yeah, because I you, understand. It's, do you know what? Oh, okay, this section. Do you throw it on the cabinet to make sure it's al dente? No. Do you? Of course I do. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some noodles that are still very strong, holding on for dear life, and then we have others that are limp. There's a perfect oh, that's example. Literally perfect, yeah. One strong, thick noodle, one limp noodle. <laughs> What is even happening there? Like, it has already been cooking for 10 minutes. You're out. Bye. Let's put our sun-dried tomatoes in there. Yum. We're going to add the salt, the pepper. Let's add our Italian seasonings. Got it. Spinach. Spin yeah. How much? Like, the whole thing? Whole thing. Whole thing. Go. Let's do it. Yeah. Popeye. Popeye. Bye. It's about four cups. I would also like the zest of that lemon. Bam, yep. bam, 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 bam. It's getting a little thick because we've added everything and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more broth in. That looks okay. so good. Okay, now squeeze this lemon juice. Got it. You guys, how can we serve Michelle Young <laughs> she's noodles cool. that haven't fully cooked? No, she's great. She's not that picky. She's kind of just like me. She'd be like, oh, this is great. This is al dente. I mean, yeah. there's al dente and there's not denting. Okay, how much parm? A lot. A quarter cup is what it says, but you already told me you like a lot, so we're gonna like. give it a little more. Why don't you throw your shrimp in there? Yep. Look at that. I know, it looks pretty good. Oh my good. goodness. God, if she chips a tooth, we'll just die. Okay, but she's not going to. Nah, she'll love this. I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. We're gonna put the lid on. We are making, Michelle, a strawberry margarita. Jack mm -hmm. told me she liked tequila. We kind of have a strawberry thing going. Perfect. So squeeze a whole lime. Those limes are real hard. Oh, wrong so. way. 
you're gonna have to give it the old yeah, this is like, come on, football try. Am I doing this right? Is it going yeah, like this? that's right. Okay, yep. go like this. So some people do it upside down. Yeah. I do it right side up. Okay. I don't care what people say. They shame me about it. It fits in there better. <laughs> I knew you were strong, Jack, but wow! That just. I'm so sorry. It's metal. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. It's hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, we got some metal in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you can't even drink it. But honestly, what kind of muscle would that have required? I'm not. I mean, that your strong. friends are gonna be so impressed. Tell, and Michelle's going to be impressed. Like, that's hot. <laughs> Let's just, sorry, Mom. Michelle, Mrs. Leas, I'm sorry, but Michelle, that is... Michelle, hopefully Michelle's impressed. That's um, impressive. It fits in there better. <laughs> okay, Hanson's going to have to do a little hack here, Jack. Okay. All right, here's what it is. <laughs> Let's do it. Are you hurt? No, I'm good. Okay, so when you don't have a <laughs> squeezer... You just do it with the tongs. You're gonna get some of the pulp, but that's fine because we're straining it out. I mean, these are hard limes. I did not pick good limes, guys. <laughs> this is not her fault. This is my fault. No, it's no one's I fault. Terrible limes. It's, no. You're just gonna put these in your the shaker. Shaker, and we're gonna do what's called muddling. Oh, look at that sound. <laughs> Two ounces of tequila for each one, so four ounces total. Now you're gonna have one ounce of your strawberry vinegar and then one ounce of your simple syrup and it's a strawberry basil simple syrup. And in the meantime, I'm sugaring these rims. Put a lime along the top and then run it through this, happens to be vanilla sugar. I'm gonna shake it up. Yep, it's pretty full. I feel like this episode, the way things are going, it could go either way. Even, Stevens. We're gonna float a little lime wedge all right, we're gonna compose our salad. If you wanna toss that, yep. Jack. Perfect, and you just wanna get the leaves coated. Those honeyed almonds are a real sleeper. I saw you, what my grandma would call a snitch. Yeah, I was, I was definitely- You were snitching. I was snitching. <laughs> this is like my Martha Stewart dream, right? To make a romantic meal for somebody. I'll be honest, uh, there's been a few, a few dust-ups along the way. But I'm glad I'm doing it with you, Jack. Nothing, nothing, we can't overcome. I know. Do you take pictures of your food before you eat? My phone does not eat before I eat. I can't do it. Okay, I, I, I always love forget. It. I always forget and I just get like excited. Yeah, I'm excited. I like food. I brought candlesticks. And we have our fancy wine glasses. Cause you've got some fancy wine and I brought a holder for it. Magna Carta Napa Valley 2019. Napa! Napa! <laughs> I love it. Girl. I heard the dog barking, you know what that means. Michelle's here. I think so. I heard the dog barking, you know what that means. Michelle's here. Okay, I've never met her. I'm kind of nervous. Don't be nice. She's cool. And she's and I like just want her to be nice for you. Like, oh, she's she's, she's the gonna be good. She's the greatest. Okay, she's the greatest. I gotta trust, trust your picker. Trust, trust me. Trust okay, me. I trust I'm your curious. picker. Okay. All right. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> you got a cute <laughs> shirt on too. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. Let me just see your cute face. <laughs> Oh, you guys are so much cuter than you even are on Instagram. <laughs> Were you a teacher at Normandale Hills? I was. I went to school there. Said, no way. I did, Normandale Hills saying. Elementary School. Wow. I'm gonna give you each a cocktail and you can okay. have a little cheers. Yeah. And then Michelle will tell you about all the foibles and the crazy things that happened while we were cooking for you today. Yeah, Okay. Crazy. <laughs> you taste it and then I wanna see if I can find the thing that happened. Ooh. That's super good. And is it sugar? Yeah, that's sugar, that's yes. sugar. So while he was squeezing the lime for your drink, he was so manly, the metal <laughs> handle like flew right off. He has been getting up like consistently at like 6 a.m. to work out every morning. So I mean, it makes it's sense. working. It makes sense. We gotta take a day off. <laughs> Sleep in with me, you know? Okay. Oh, cute. Every once in a while. All right, you guys go sit down. I'm gonna act like the weird, embarrassing waitress. Did you like the cocktail? This is exactly what I would order. I do love red wine. Oh yeah, we love red wine. I just got into red wine like recently. We did put it in more of a Cabernet style glass so that it can just air out for you a little bit. So we made 
a strawberry spinach salad with uh, vinaigrette and um, strawberry syrup. Yeah, we used the uh, strawberry vinaigrette and we made a vinaigrette out of that, the same thing that's in your cocktail there. I will say, if I were to like create a salad, this is all that I would have in it, because I would have a fruit, which you have strawberries, which is my favorite in a salad. Yep. But I never have had brie cheese in the salad before. I didn't even know you Super could do that. Good. Super good, yeah. But I like it. I would do it again. And the, I don't know if it's walnuts. Almonds. Almonds. Mm -hmm. I'm allergic, but I'm joking. <laughs> 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 you just scared the out of me. Same, I'm like, I thought I knew you. Michelle, so far you're passing the test. <laughs> I'm passing? Yes. So are you on your cooking. Definitely. Or <laughs> guidance. All right, just like would happen in a normal restaurant, I'm gonna remove these plates for you. Well, thank you. So Jack, do you wanna explain what we made? So we made some shrimp fettuccine. With Basically. Spinach. And if you get a hard noodle, just if you pick get it a, to the side. Yeah, just. Got it. Mm-hmm. 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 And were the noodles cooked, Jack? The noodles were the cooked. Noodles were cooked. I had one little corner. Shh. It's okay. <laughs> we we picked a few out, Michelle. We my bite was perfect. Just, just a little bit. Okay. One out of ten, I would rank it a solid eight, actually. Perfect. Maybe eight point five. Okay. Maybe like eight point seven five, I feel like. Okay. I really I really like I really like the noodles. I do. And the shrimp. Out of the things that you've made, it's probably like top four or five dishes that you've made. I love it! Here we go! Yeah. Okay, this is our dessert. This is our Crank and Dasher ice cream from yeah. Duluth. And then it just has um, heat bar on it that's crushed up with a little Kahlua. I don't know if I've ever had Kahlua. I don't think I've had Kahlua either. I like Kahlua. I like Kahlua. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is bomb. Dang, girl. I feel like I'm over here going, Honey, how do you like this food? Jack, how's Michelle? Does she have anything in her teeth? Can you get closer? Can you see it? This has been really awesome. I'm impressed now that you might have to cook a little more. Oh wait, I came for the wine. <laughs> <laughs> but I brought my, my, own, my own glass. You know, just yep. fill it to the top, Michelle. Okay, there we go. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. thank you so Cheers. much. Cheers, you guys. Jack, just the best, so fun. You picked a goodie. Oh, she's, she's a Grady. <laughs> a Grady, you're a Grady, not just a goodie. Grady. Let's not do that one. Cheers, cheers, cheers. We're cheers. spiraling. Okay, okay, okay we're spiraling, guys, sorry. Cheers. 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 For any of the recipes that you saw today, go to fox9.com slash tastebuds, or to learn more about Jack and Michelle's foundation, you can find all that information at fox9.com. Thanks, tastebuds. Hey.